Big Blue Button, Web Conferencing, Virtual Classroom. The latest version of Moodle includes free tier hosting of a web conferencing tool called Big Blue Button. It allows you, the teacher, to run live sessions with up to 25 participants. You can display presentations, share your screen, set up polls, breakout rooms, and see useful analytics. The sessions can be recorded and viewed for seven days. Participants will see your webcam and you can see theirs, but for security reasons they don't see each other's. To set up a big blue button session, we enable edit mode top right and we click between existing activities or add an activity or resource. For data protection reasons, big blue button is disabled by default, so check with your admin if you don't see it in the activity chooser. Big blue button is an activity because learners interact with it and we click once to go straight to the setup screen or click the eye icon for more information and then the add button bottom right. Decide first whether you want the link to also show recordings after the session or if you only want the room and no recordings. And after a session, if you don't plan to run it again, you can select to show recordings only. The name is important because it's what the learners will click on to access it and from more we can, if desired, add a description and check the box to display this on the course page. Other settings might have been configured by default by the admin, but we may, for instance, be able to add a custom welcome message that people can see when they join the room. Check Wait for Moderator if you don't want them to enter before you yourself are present. Explore Lock Settings to decide if it's useful, for instance, to disable private chat or disable webcams completely. And if enabled by your admin, you can pre-upload a presentation here, otherwise it can be uploaded once in the room. In Roles Assigned, a teacher will automatically be able to moderate the session and participants will automatically be able to view the session but we can make changes relating to individual users or roles if required. Again, if enabled by the administrator, you can allow guest access from the guest access section. And once you've saved the activity and returned to the settings, you'll see a meeting link and password. We define the session timing and then in activity completion, to track that students have accessed the big blue button activity, do we want them to manually click to confirm they've seen it? Or do we want it automatically marked complete when they have viewed it? And to alert course participants that a big blue button has been added or updated, click send content change notification. And then we click save and return to course and our big blue button live web conferencing session is ready.